Kwa siku ya pili kinara wa azimio wa Kenya Raila Molotinga ameweka bayana maono yake kuhusiana na uamuzi wa mahakama ya upeo inayoongozwa na Martha Kome kuhusiana na matokeo ya uchaguzi mkuu. Secondly, you have noticed the attitude, the thuggery, the corruption, and the cynicism of the Supreme Court judges. And the chief justice has gone out to a funeral in her village and defended the judgment in before she, she gives out the detailed ruling. Supreme Court is now in politics. And she said that the ruling was inspired by God. I believe it was inspired by the devil. Odinga anashikilia kuwa uamuzi huo haukutilia maanani ushahidi uliowasilishwa mahakamani ila majaji hao walikuwa tayari wameamua kuhusiana na kesi hiyo. The words that the chief justice used against us have never been used in our courts even in the dark days of single party rule and state capture of the judiciary. <laughs> chief Justice Martha Comey described our case presented but the country's finest legal mind as no more than hot air, a wild goose chase, incredible and, he and hearsay evidence, red herring. These were words of the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya. Isitoshe Odinga na Daikua, majaji hao walilenga kuadhalilisha mawakili wa mrengo huo, akiwemo wakili Julie Soweto, ambaye alishikilia kuwa Jose Kamago, raia wa Venezuela, alihitilafiana na teknolojia tumehuru ya uchaguzi na mipaka nchini IBC. It is my experience that whenever judges resort to insults on litigants and advocates, it is the result of a disturbed conscience. You have been here before. You have come from a judiciary that invested in threats and humiliation of litigants and advocates so that the country would not question them. That is the Supreme Court we witness in the presidential election case. Umtata hivi karibuni amekuwa kikosuo uamuzi wa majaji hao wa saba. Today, the Supreme Court is threatening those talking against the judgment in the presidential petition. According to Madam Martha Comey, that judgment is not supposed to be discussed by anyone anywhere. <laughs> the court register has already issued threats on those who have criticized uh, the despicable judgment of the court. In fact, Justice Isaac Lenaola is publicly accused of threatening one of the petitioners, Senator Okia Mtata. Vile vile Raila anashikilia kuwa mpango wa serikali kuwapisha majaji sita hivi karibuni na kuahidi fedha zaidi kuelekezwa kwa idara hiyo ni ishara tosha kuwa kwa njia moja au nyingine serikali ina mipango ya kusambaratisha huru wa idara ya mahakama From our history as a country we know this is an indication of a very disturbed conscience It is the evidence of a court that sold its soul the actions of the Chief Justice are clearly psychophantic. She has demeaned the dignity of the office of Chief Justice. In less than a year, she has destroyed what her predecessors achieved in 10 years. As if this is not bad enough, there is clearly a push by the executive to own the judiciary through illegal actions that amount to bribery. Odinga pia alinyoshia tumehuru ya uchaguzi na mipaka nchini IBC hasa mwenyekiti wa tume hiyo wa Fula Chebukati kidole cha lawama First you have noticed the corruption the dysfunction the incompetence and the capture of the IBC the body charged with the carrying out elections in our country Two transform and reform the IBC and make it capable of conducting credible elections Hayana jiri wakati viongozi kutoka chama cha United Green Movement UGM wakiongozwa na Agostino Neto wamemtaka Odinga kuridhika na matokeo ya uchaguzi na uamuzi wa mahakama ya upeo. The Supreme Court is the highest in the land. It's supposed to help us bring closure. It does not have to decide in the way you want. The only thing it helps us do as a country is it helps us bring closure. So the 2022 presidential election there was closure. 
viongozi hao wameshikilia kuwa si vyema viongozi kukashifu idara huru kama vile ya mahakama na IBC kwa nisemi hizo huenda zikaathiri utendakazi za idara hizo Many of us may not agree with it but the courts have spoken it's an institution of our democracy that is what makes us different from wild animals and that's why we are not in George Orwell's animal farm the courts have spoken uh, in their view IBC uh, conducted a credible verifiable election let's move on with it Machote sasa yamelekezwa kwa jaji mkuu Mathakome na mwenyekiti wa IBC wa Fula Chebukati iwapo watajibu madai ya kinara wa azimio wa Kenya Raila Molo Odinga Abdelaziz Hashim Mwanga wa Ebru